And also, y'all being right by that border. Yeah. The drug culture affects y'all a little bit harder, being that y'all was a little closer to the border, or just wasn't no, you know what I mean, wasn't no big difference. It did. It was close to home. When it hit in the early 80s, like, while they were speaking about what was going on in Oakland, it was, we was being terrorized down there in San Diego also. Because right up. They had so much of it coming through that border that, that that's why the homies was, was, was balling and clicked up. We didn't have nothing to start with. You know, we right. really had nothing to start with. Niggas wasn't getting to work and none of that type shit. Weed wasn't selling like that. Uh, uh, the Heron, you know, it was those people in the Heron game, very few. Right. But when that dope opened up, when that dope opened up, they was just giving it to the homies. I could imagine. Here, take this, bring this back to us. You know, and it was a whole lot of conflict behind that, too. And that's what started wars between Skyline and the West Coast, Skyline and Lincoln. Damn. And, you know, we was even clicked up with Ammo, like, real tough. You know, the G yeah. homies from there, you know, real loved ones. Cousins, yeah. I, I got relatives from out there. But, uh, you know, the, 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 the drug culture is what really, really fucked up San Diego, period. The drug culture, that's what did it. Yeah. Damn. First hand, single handedly, the drug culture is what. Flip that one like upside down. The drug culture came through and, and, and really just blew in like a damn tornado. Fucked everybody up, man. Solid motherfuckers turned into dope fiends. Big homies started smoking. And that was a, the, really what bridged the gap between a lot of neighborhoods, man, where niggas don't want to listen to a nigga no more. Because if you were smoking dope, where I'm from, nigga, we'd get on your ass. Nigga, we ain't listening to you talking about, nigga. Especially if you smoking dope, we're going to beat you up. You know what I'm saying? So. That's crazy, man. So, so let me tell you a quick story about that, right? This is how I learned not to be fucking with no dope all the time, even before I even knew what dope was. Straight up. You feel me? I was, I was originally Lil T Bubble. RT mm. was my big homie from the East. RT. Yeah. And uh, he ain't no good no more. I did change my name before he went bad. Mm. But uh, Big T Bubble, the homie John John and them called me over. A little puff, big puff, big yeah. puff, a little, the original puff, a little. Puff, rope. And uh, they called me over to the house and like, man, they was in John John backyard. So I come through and uh, it was like, yeah, man. so we lifting weights, drinking. And uh, they was like, we just waiting for RT to pull up. T Bubble get here, you know what I'm saying? We're going to have a meet. Straight up. And so the homie come, it was a little chain link fence about this high that ran all the way across around the homie uh, backyard. Right. So the homie pull up on the side, he hit the little gate. As soon as he hit the gate, my, my, my big homie John John was like, "You part with nigga? You smoking or not?" He was like, "What you mean smoking?" And the homie said, "Get on him, dust him off." I'm like, "Damn, this my big homie. Am I supposed to jump in?" Right, right. So, yeah, <laughs> this bro, this you know, say we not we not grown big. We like 15, 16. You know what I'm saying? They yeah, seventeen at the most, and I'm twelve. Straight up, you feel me? And and so uh, I'm like. The fuck they get on the homie for it. And they was like, yeah, see, that's why we don't smoke. This nigga been, this nigga been sneaking and smoking. This nigga been pulling on the other, puffing on the other. And they whooped him. <laughs> what the <laughs> <ass. laughs> And he was like, and he was bloody. They whooped, picked him up. And he said, man, I, I already know I'm fucking up. I'm fucking up peace. I ain't gonna fuck up no more. I'm done. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just, you know, I've been, I'll be selling that shit, running out of weed, and I'll just be having that shit. And, I'm gonna hit that shit a little bit. I'm gonna hit that shit, and I learned about that. Whatever that shit is, I ain't fucking with it. <laughs> That's what I learned with that horror was. 